Hey guys, Steve from Cowie Performance. We've got a lot of questions on how to match up bearing sizes for your engine. Kawasaki has two different colors and a couple different combinations of bearing sizes uh, which correlate to a color that you may need for your Kawasaki motor. In this video, we're gonna go over the possible combinations and how to match them up. So hopefully it'll help you guys uh, who have issues matching up bearing sizes. On our website under engine crankshaft, if you go down to the bearing section, we have a PDF that you can click on and print out that gives you exactly what I'm gonna give you here today. So we're gonna run through this. Hopefully you guys can follow and we'll make it a little bit easier for you guys. So the first thing we're gonna do, which is the easiest, is the, is the connecting rods. So the connecting rods either come in mark or no mark. So you can have a J, a K, an I, or whatever on your connecting rod. That just indicates the weight. So a mark is gonna indicate a, a circle around the J. So this, these have a J on it. It's either gonna be no circle around it or a circle around it. If you have a motor that you're putting together, you wanna have all the same weight. So J, 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 or K, 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 or I, 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 I. So for an example of a mark, here is a K with a mark. So it has a circle around the K. So if you're building a motor, you may have, you know, a couple Ks with a mark um, or a couple Ks without a mark. So you just have to notate down that you have a mark or no mark. That's what that means. That's what that looks like. That's a mark. The next step is the cases. They're the second easiest. So with the cases, we're gonna look at this section here on the diagram. So you have position one, two, three, four, and five. So that's gonna be down like this. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and five. So on this particular set of cases, you have four lines here, but in between the lines, there can be a mark. This one has none. So that means no marks on this cases, but you might get a, a case that has a circle here and a circle here. That means mark and mark and the rest will be no mark. So you have to make sure that you're very careful of what kind of marking or no mark is on these cases. So between the two, the connecting rod and the cases, it's pretty straightforward. Onto the crank, the crank is a little bit more complicated. This is the part that most people struggle with. So we're gonna go to the crankshaft section here. So what I like to do is I like to measure the crank instead of going by the mark method. So what we have here are the measurements of this crankshaft. These are the connecting rod measurements up here. So we have rod one, two, three, and four. So that's one, two, three, and four. So I will measure one to show you guys how to do this, but you have to use a micrometer. You cannot use a caliper. So any dimension that you get with a caliper is not gonna work. It has to be done with a micrometer. So you can use the mark method like Kawasaki shows. You could, you could look at the locations for the marks. So if you're looking here, this, this diameter journal would have a mark here if it was oversized. And the same thing with this one. So this one, this one here would be up here. Obviously, there's no marks on this crank and the dimensions do confirm that. So the best way to do it is to measure it just to confirm um, so you don't make a mistake if there's a mark or no mark because there's a lot of casting marks on, on the crank. So I'm gonna measure a journal here and we're gonna check our dimensions on the sheet here to make sure they're correct. So we have a 1.53485. 1.53480, pretty close. So that's correct. So recommend measuring the crank. So as far as all these numbers go, the crank has no marks. So standard crank, standard cases, and depending on your rod situation, you, let's, let's say we have no mark on the rods. So that means we're gonna have green main bearings, which, which means no mark on, so these are the mains here. 
These are the connecting rods. So the mains are gonna be green. So that's gonna be green. So we have none on the cases and we have none on the crank, so that's green. So green, 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 and green. Done. Now the connecting rods, if you have no mark, which we're assuming no mark here, it's gonna be yellow. Green is actually a little more common than yellow, but for this, we're gonna do yellow because we have connecting rod, no mark, and we have crank pin, which is this diameter here, no mark. So that's gonna make yellow. So say you have connecting rods with a circle around the letter, which is a mark, you're gonna have mark and no mark. So you have a mark on there and no mark on here, which is gonna be a green. Hopefully that helps you guys uh, with any questions you have on how to size the crankshaft and connecting rod bearings. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped all you guys that had difficulty matching up bearing sizes. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. Any questions or comments, feel free to email us. Um, visit our website, cowieperformance.com if you need any other parts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.